Sweet. All right. So let me show you. Uh, this, this equation says find the values for x when f of x equals 0. All right. So previously, we've learned to find the value of the function when x equals 0. Well, now what we're going to do is we want to find what is the value of x when f of x equals 0. So what we're going to do is it says if f of x equals 0, I'm now going to substitute in 0 in for f of x. So I'm going to rewrite the equation and write 0 equals 3x minus 4 over 5. Make sure you don't confuse this with this. All right? A lot of people automatically do this. What this means is finding the value of the function when x equals 0. What we're trying to do is we want to find the value of x when f of x equals 0. So I plug 0 in for f of x, and now to solve for x, I just have to use my algebra skills. Whenever you have a fraction, we like to get rid of it, so we multiply by 5. And if those two fives are going to um, cancel out, that's going to give us 0. So therefore, I'm left with 0 equals 3x minus 4. Add 4. Divide by 3. So therefore, x equals 4 thirds. So what we're saying is when I plug in x, and you can, on your own, you can check your own answer. When I plug in 4 thirds in for x, I get 0. All right. So if you guys want to plug that in, plug 4 thirds in for x, um, what actually you get is actually it's fairly easy. You can do that real quick. So if I plug in 3 times 4 thirds minus 4 over 5, what do I get? Those change over to 1. Those cancel out. So I'm left with 4 minus 4 over 5, which gives me 0 over 5, which gives me 0. Okay. So just make sure when, I, when we're trying to find the x values, when f of x equals 0, you set f of x equals 0. Any last questions?